and you know even after LLC's um, existence, other publishers have come up with uh, other literature and, and books and, and materials in Lakota, and they're all copyrighted. And uh, I think one of the misconceptions um, that that uh, Ray Taken Alive, who uh, Graham mentioned, um, one of the misconceptions that is promoted is that the Lakota Language Consortium copyrighted the language. And it's just the standard procedure of, you know, when you publish something, it's copyrighted so that others can't copy it and make money off of it. Um, and it, it's not to say that teachers can't make a copy and use it, for, you know, for homework with their students and things like that. And I have done that myself. <laughs> um, and, and furthermore, you know, the copyright doesn't stop people from using it or accessing it. In fact, it gives access. It gives everybody access to these materials. All right, so the LLC, the new incoming deputy director, mentioned me by name on the Native America Calling Show. I'm going to walk you through this. First of all, he starts with, well, there's all these other people copywriting things. It's not, not a big deal. This is called whataboutism. LLC copywriting stuff. Well, what about such and such? But there's only one organization that is fighting us. This is a Trump tactic. Two, he mentions me by name. I'm going to be hyper visible and invisible in a matter of a few breaths. He's going to mischaracterize what I said and then argue that. This is called a straw man fallacy. He's trying to say that I said the LLC copyrighted the language. And I've said over and over, you can't copyright a language. That's not how a language gets taken. It gets taken through copywriting the intellectual property and in our collective cultural expressions. And that's exactly what they did. So it's kind of a fine little point, but it's a mischaracteriz mischaracterization of what I said and then an argument of a standard operating procedure, a copyright. That's scary. That's an economic right under the United States blanket under their under the rules we're not talking about that we're talking about the inherent rights of our people our blood rights our birth rights of our children and our ancestors to our own language we're talking about two totally different systems our people have the right to our language long before america ever came and set up copyright laws and he admits one of our fears that this is to protect their financial interests so that no one else can take it and exploit it and make money off of it because they want to make money off of it. Stay tuned for part two.